Mushrooms have been the target of much despise and fright throughout the ages, but to me, they've always been symbols of chemical storehouses, meaning one can derive a myriad of scientific adventure through the study of them. Take for example the yellow chemical reaction seen on this species. As far as edibility, there's rumored some can eat them while others will get sick suffering from gastrointestinal upset. Not so true with the death cap, Amanita phylloides, the flesh of which contain potent amatoxins inhibiting protein synthesis and causing death via kidney and liver failure. These red stains aren't reported in the literature, although you can get a purple one by testing the flesh with potassium hydroxide. It could just be some bacterial infection, however. Nonetheless, it is interesting because psychedelic psilocybin mushrooms are known to stain blue. Once growing robust in the field, the death cap has seen a decline in numbers here, along with the fly agaric, Amanita muscaria, the familiar Mario mushroom. Since the mushroom is a known weed-like pest, perhaps it has been targeted by landscapers. The redness of the cap is dependent on how much muscarins are in the flesh, which include ibotenic acid, glutamic acid, Stitzelobic acid. Unlike the death cap, if you eat Amanita muscaria, you won't die, you merely taste an intoxication. I've merely taken an interest in phylloides so as to learn the Amanita genus better and distinguish them in the field while hunting for actual, valuable mushroom specimens. Back to Agaricus for a second. While one of the most common mushrooms in Sacramento, most are poisonous, although the genus contains the species Bisperus, which is most likely the gourmet kind commonly found in grocery stores. Xanthodermis and Californicus stain yellow extensively and have a phenolic chemical-like odor which may scare some off and give a preview of what to expect as a meal. I would like to test the edibility someday. It turns out that psilocybin isn't the only genus with psilocybin, the active ingredient responsible 
or hallucination. If a mushroom isn't choice gourmet, edible, or poisonous, then it will cause hallucination. Usually you can tell by the blue stains, which is the psilocybin oxidizing to psilocin. While the amanitas need certain trees to grow, these are lignicolous and just like wood. They are recently discovered in the Sacramento area, being mildly hallucinogenic, requiring larger doses than the average mushroom in order to actually get high. They are mildly potent. It is rumored to be a different species from the East Coast version of Gymnopolis, which is the Teofolius. And the ones we have over here are known as Gymnopolis Thersi. However, also recently discovered are the actual psilocybin mushrooms, this particular species known as cyanesin, or the wavy cap, because of its wave-shaped cap, and it also stains blue. Partially as an indicator to what species it actually is. These are the magic mushrooms of the lore that you have heard about, probably.